<laughs> Hello and welcome to uh, Mr. Elmore's three and a half top tips for exams in physics. So, let's start with the obvious one. Time is money and marks equals time. So, be careful when you're looking at the marks available for questions. If there's not many, don't spend much time on it. Likewise, if there's about three or four marks for a question, and you're half an hour in, you might have started the wrong way around. You might get there, but you've taken too long, so you might want to re-look at your theory. Top tip number two, the content in the questions. Now, make sure you read very carefully what they give to you, because luckily in A-level exams and GCSEs, they give you everything you need. There is nothing in that exam question which isn't supposed to be there. So if they state Faraday's law, whack it down, you'll probably get a mark for it as well. And it'll help you think about what you need to do to get the rest of the marks in the question. Top tip number three. Here's one I've had prepared beforehand. I hope you can see this. Can I see this? Yes, my cameraman can tell me I can see it. Okay, so this is something we can use in mechanics when we're trying to work out the components of forces of different directions. Here, it's not very clear, but it's supposed to be 90 degrees. And we have a force in an arbitrary direction. Now, pay very close attention. I shall say this only once, maybe twice. If we want the Y component of the force, make sure you pick an angle first. So in this case, I'm going to pick beta. And because we're closing the angle to get to it, we're going to say that's cos. So, the component here is F times, close the angle, cos of beta. Likewise, if we choose alpha, we're swinging away. So F times swing away sine alpha gives the Y component of F. And likewise for the X component of X. I'll let you practice that at home. And for the last tip, which is kind of a half a tip, like pub quizzes, you can't be good at pub quizzes just by having general knowledge. You can only be good at pub quizzes if you do pub quizzes. So, practice again and again, and you'll be really good at your exams. Good luck.